The return of Polymimes. Hold on. I am live. Welcome to Polymimes 2. Uh, I made a video on this. I had a very fun time with it. It was The video was kind of a tutorial, and I figured I'd just stream a bit more of it because I feel like this is a game where I can keep up with playing live. It's, it's fun. So if you don't know this game and you hadn't seen the first video, first off, what are you doing? But second off, I can explain it really quick. It's a game about figuring out which of these cells are mines, which I would mark like this, and which of the cells are not mines, which I actually don't have an easy mark. Uh, I can mark this as a non-mine. Uh, so there's two types of clues. First off, the clue on the outside, which gave me my first mine. This three means that there are three mines in a row in the selected region, which means the center one must be a mine because there's no way to have three in a row that doesn't involve this being a mine. Uh, and then the non-mine, there's also numbers on the inside. This is minesweeper rules. Zero means that there are no mines in this box that's highlighted. So that's actually a very helpful clue. Uh, and I was able to deduce that from this funny little clue right here, the double question mark, which means that there is an equal size group in both the row and the column it's referring to. And because the column is size two, the group could be at most two, which means it wouldn't extend out to here. Anyways, because this is not a mine, we must have an equal size group of one, which means all these are non-mines. I'm gonna see how quickly I can get through some of these puzzles. Maybe not get through, but quickly I can solve. I mean, um, what's interesting here, is again, there's one group of mines, and there's two mines here. So at most, there could be three mines in a row, which would look like this, which means that the two mines are never going to reach out this far. Three column means this is, in fact, a mine. And then I have a two and a one. This one would be referred to back here. The two has to be up here somewhere. Um, two in a row somehow. And, oh, and actually, because it says two mines, it's got to be two in a row so at least two in a row, put that there. This one here is complete, mark that. Got a two, which is complete. Can I cord in this game? No, I cannot. That's pretty valuable stuff. Um, another clue I could do is because of this two, because there's only one chunk, it's gotta be two in a row, actually exactly two in a row. So this is a mine. I'm just gonna clear this. And then one of these two others are mines. Got two mines here, that seems pretty simple. Two mines here, that seems pretty good. I got one and one. It looks like that row's done, column's done. Uh, I got two in a row at the bottom, one mine here, and then one mine here, and another puzzle should be solved. There we go. So I'm going to be solving a lot of these puzzles, straight playing it live with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to go through every single piece of logic uh, perfectly, but... Oh, okay, how did this clue work? Can this be zero? Oh, I don't remember if this can be zero. Only one way to find out. Well, okay, it wasn't zero. It was, in fact, one three in a row at the bottom and I feel like this is a game where I actually I can reasonably chat with you guys because I think I'm pretty fast at this type not extremely fast but fairly fast uh let's see and I, I've got a pretty decent grasp on the logic let's mark this mark this one in a row it's at most two in a row it can't be zero yeah it's just sometimes the rules themselves are easy to forget but thankfully we're doing okay here um, okay, only one for this column, so that's done. Four is done. Uh, question mark means two. Two puts here. It's at least two in a row. Actually, it's kind of an interesting cascade now, right? So, here it's either one or two in a row for this, which means this is not a one. Oh, um, okay. That means neither of these are mine. You're done. One of these three is a mine. If it's only one group, it's got to be here then. These two are not. And then at least size two, so this is a mine. Next up, got at least size two. This one is complete, this four is complete. I guess I should check all these off. Um, oh, size of two? Hmm. Actually, I'm surprised you can progress here. Okay, first little tricky piece of logic right now. So, I mean, this row is either referring to size two or three, depending on what part of this two is. This here only referring to one group. This only referring to one group. Unless there's like a clue I'm just totally blind to. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's 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 think about the possibilities then. Maybe get out the pen. I mean, I like the idea of this being a mine, then this being a non-mine. Uh, there'd be three in a row, so I would have three mines here. But the issue with that is I don't see anything wrong with it. You know? The other option of, of course, this being a non-mine, this being a mine. 
and then only one of these two chunks being a line. Maybe I gotta think further out then. Maybe I gotta think about... Oh, actually, here's something I can think about. This row. This row. I can't have six mines in a row because there's only five options. That's the one. So that means this here is a non-mine. Very tricky. That's a zero. Very helpful clue, actually. Wow. Okay. Now we're moving. Three of these... Um, wait, hmm. So here's how I see it, right? The, the group is at most length two, because it can only be two in a row here. Three in a row means I can't have three mines in a row here, but it does mean that like if I have the two or one and then two, how do I explain this better? I, I get it. I get it. I should just do it. I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I can, but I won't. Those are not mines. <laughs> um, but I just think about this column. At most can have two mines in a row. At most can have two mines in a row. So this one actually in a row is interesting because these two work together. Um, because it's a group of two, I believe it has to look like this then. This two is complete. This three is complete. I got one in a row now. Is this done? Yeah, it should be done. Mark that off. Here, well, okay, it most could be two in a row, so that is that. Two in a row here. And then that's actually a size one group, which is done. That was a good puzzle. Oh, oh, to, 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 to. very fun. Oh, God, it's big. It's huge. How do you even begin this? Well, uh, two <laughs> can go here. Uh, just look for clues that I can work with. We got the big boy out now. We'll see how long this takes. I think the hardest part is just finding somewhere to start. Is this 5-4 helpful? Is a cluster of 10 out of... No, this is way too big. Out of 15? Yeah, that's too big. Way, way, way too big. Oh, four in a row. Here we go. That's something. And I got a one. Wait, that. Three is finished. Or is mine here? Question mark. It's, um... So this can refer to a different number for the row and column because it's a single question mark. It has to be at least one though. Let's see, is there anything else I can do with that? Right now, no. Huh, right now, no. This four, it's out of a column of nine, so that's not happening. Oh, here though, uh, oh, the double. Oh, this is interesting. Actually, a couple things. This one's a little bit more expl explanatory. I have two question marks that both point right, so it must be a question mark, then a gr break, then a question mark, which means it's a one break one. Um, that's important. Now, the same logic applies for these question marks. So I have a group of at most two, then a break, then a group of at most three. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna, well, it could be one, then three. It could be two, then two. Can't be three than one because the first one's two. Could be one than one, could be one than two. There's actually a lot of options, and I don't think we can actually narrow any of them down. Because it could be one than one, I think that makes too many options. But that is something to consider. I love this sort of stuff. Well, hmm. There are so many damn clues. Puzzles like this are usually tough on the merit of just seeing through the matrix matrix just trying to find something anything to work off of you gotta give me something maybe i could like almost take this systematically like what can i infer this four is four is useless to me it's too big of a column this question mark could be any number pretty useless to me question mark three is it's way too much but there's this much information there's no way Three and three, unfortunately, I cannot infer anything yet. Um, this one's only part of the first three, but that could be here, it could be here, and that doesn't really help me anything. <coughs> um, double question marks could be anything. One could be any one of these three. One could. This two only goes over. That's not good enough. This one's no good. Do I have anything with the question marks here? Um... Do I have anything with those? I mean, I don't see why it would, because it could easily just be a 1-1. One, one. 
I feel like if I am to work with anything, it'd be here. But... No, I, I said before, that could be a one and one. One and one is not helpful. Oh, oh, these two, these two feed into the same column. Aha. These two, same column. So that's either a 2-1 or a 2-2, two, two, just because it's a column of five. That's the catch. Okay, because the first two could actually infer a mine here, this is either a 1 or a 2. And now, unfortunately... Hmm, unfortunately, I can't actually tell if that's a 1 or a 2. If it were 2, for sure, at least I could infer another thing. But that doesn't help at all. No, this line is not complete. The one only refers to these four. So the way the numbers work is that they will go until there's like a gap in the map and then they stop seeing things. Which is different from other games. Other games will just have them laser the whole line. Games like Hex Cells, but this is different. It goes until a gap. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of options, right? So it could be two and then two. It could also be two, one. Uh, and then two, one here as well. It could also be two and then one. So there's nothing guaranteed or not guaranteed about there. I do have the five, actually. Yeah, okay. So I can't have five in a row at the very leftmost five. So this is a non-mine. And actually, that deals with the four. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're moving because that four does a lot. I got three in a row down here, too. Oh, it is, it is on. Okay, this has to be a one. Okay, so this is this first question mark thing is a one. This three is complete. Oh, we are mega moving. Holy cow. Well, um, the train stopped for a second just to kind of regather myself. Um, <laughs> hmm. This is nice though. So, it's, well, I hate this being a one because that has the most possibilities still. But five and four. Oh, and. Well, yeah, this being the only one does a lot. This being a mine doesn't actually help me because it could be part of a one or a two. It could be... All right. Back to looking. Time to stare. Can I do anything with this yet? Well, no. Oh, I can do this. This question mark is done. There we go. And that's part of the other three. That's the one. So let me just mark all these off. Then this is at most a two. A one here. Oh, this one has significant overlap with this question mark, right? So there's going to be one of these three. This is going to be a one. That's a four. And so this is going to be a one, one, which is kind of unfortunate. But I know that one of these three is a mine. Which actually doesn't quite give me anything yet, but I think it... What it gave me was not that bad because I got two here I can complete and then I can get back to the column looking good and then I can chill out here. I saw someone ask earlier if I was sick. I am actually a little sick. Uh, I, I, I've been under the weather ever since I took that break. It's just a, a little bit bad in my throat, uh, but I can kind of ignore it whenever I'm playing puzzles. Uh, it's like the puzzles make the sickness go away. But I am kind of hanging in there a little bit. It's still... Like, I wouldn't be streaming if I was too sick for it. I just got a little bit of uh, nasal stuff in the throat. And actually, speaking of that, I'm going to do a little thing where I mute my mic. Think? Yeah, we back. Okay. Didn't want you guys to hear that. Anyways, this is finished. Get that out of here. So now, I got... What else? What does this do? I just marked a ton of mines. This has got to be something. Oh, uh, actually, this row has something because there's a group of one. It would go there, and then these two are both finally complete. Two. Hmm. Interesting. Can I infer anything from the two? Technically... No. Yeah, technically no. That's okay. How about this? The two then break. Or the two then group, actually. This is complete. So this it makes it a one, which is the worst outcome. 
This could be part of the question mark or part of the three, so that's not helpful. Well, this five, yeah, I could just have three in a row here. No, uh, that's perfectly valid. Two, yeah, and I could have the three down here positioned like this. Maybe there's something... Okay, well, this is complete. This, oh, this three forces a mine here. Not that helpful. Thank God for the X's. They definitely at least make it a little bit easier. And a reminder, because again, I think it's just, this is different kind of rule. The one only sees the cells until there's a gap in the map. And you can tell when you hover over it, there's like a line that only hovers through these four. So this green over here has nothing to do with this one. It's, it's a non-factor. Non-factor. Um, yeah, so this question mark refers to a one. So one of these two is a mine. Around the five, that'd be one, two, and three. And then one of these two is a mine, which means one of these two is a mine. You know, I could mark that, right? One mine, one mine, one mine, which honestly isn't that helpful. Yeah, that is surprisingly unhelpful. I'll tell you what though, because there does have to be mines down here and mines up here. I don't think that matters actually. I mean, yeah, that's where the two groups are. I don't think that actually matters. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Oh, I missed the thing. That's right. This refers to the row, one group. Okay, there we go. All right, two mines. There's the five complete. Two is complete. And there's still one group. Four could be anything. Hmm... Two, okay, hold on. At least one of these is a mine. Or two, that means this is not a mine. So the four kind of gets a bit further this way. This is, oh, this is part of the one. This is a one, this is the question mark. So these three are non-mines. Two up top, one here should be complete. Two in a row puts this here. One column complete, two. Uh, one of these two is a mine, so these two are not. These three, mine, 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 mine. But two here, that doesn't help. One of these two is a mine. Well, it can't be this one because there's only one group on top, so that would mark these as complete. Oh, hold on. This being a mine is interesting. Is it? I don't think that actually infers anything because I don't see why I can't just have all three of these be mines. Yeah, that doesn't actually break any rule. I could still have three in a row at the bottom. So... The question mark here could be helpful because at least that means this extends far enough over here. To here i guess now you're done this could still be oh hold on oh oh so now this either connects all the way well which is perfectly fine or if it's two groups that's also fine um yeah that, this could be a part of either question mark unfortunately how about the two this isn't done yet the one yeah what else have I missing? Oh, the two here column. That's not that helpful. It's it's better than nothing, but that's all I got. All right, what have I not X'd out yet? Four. Oh, the five's done. That may help. The three. No, yeah, that's we're chilling here. Yeah. So the tough thing with the five, I guess. Oh, because I marked one of these two as a mine, right, in the past. Too bad that marking went away. This is actually a non-mine because of an old rule that I made. Um, so this here is now part of the question mark. There we go. Now we got something spicy. Three in a row has to look something like this, as I determined earlier. Looking good. This one is complete. That's a nice column. Now we can probably do a ton. That's the bottom question mark, so the top must connect all the way. Oh, we are cooking. Mega cooking. This is done. Oh, they, the home stretch is here. Three in a row. It's got to be over here. Two in a row there. Ba, 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 ba. One is there. Put that two. Yep, yep, yep. Looking good. What else we got? Oh, well, the one is complete, of course. Put that there. Um. 
what rules are even left? Oh, there's this one. Okay, five. That goes there. Two is done. Three mines. And then the four. The two is good. There we go. No mistakes. Ooh. When it clicks, it clicks. It's like you got the period of, oh no, oh no. And then it all unravels. The beauty of this. Here we got a lot of interesting double clues. This is an interesting kind of two by four. Where question marks one and one question marks. So the question marks either refer to a two and a, or a one. Is it possible for it to be a two? Because it would be, hold on. It would be mine, mine, mine. And then mine, mine, mine. I don't see why not. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see why not. How about I think about something else? How about I think, yeah, this three is obviously complete. Question mark two could be anything. But uh, I do know this is going to be part of the first question mark. Yeah, it's never going to be part of the one, which actually should be a group, then a one. Mark that one. Um, I need it on the column as well. Don't get too ahead of myself. I can do a bit more with the three. I can do a bit with the twos here. I can do a two on the bottom. That is actually taken care of. Um, the three only goes so far. This is complete. What else do I got? Well, only one of these four are a mine. It can't actually be these two because of the two in a row. So that's pretty important. Uh, the twos work together here. Only one of these two are a mine. Uh, this is a mine. The two. Oh, uh, okay, we got the split here. This does take care of the one. Yeah, now the one is happy in both. Oh, two in a row. Should mark that up here. Got, mm, that doesn't necessarily mean anything yet. This could be part of a group of one or two. Okay, one of these two is a mine. One of these two is a mine. Are these, any number of these. Is this ever a mine? Yeah, this could be in some world. How about the threes? No, 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 no. I think it's still going to be something on the left side. Yeah, the threes are... They're just chilling. They're minding their own business. Well, okay. I know that this question mark has to refer to one because it can't be both of these being a mine. But it being a one doesn't really help me. It's the most possibilities that you could realistically have. So it's not great. If this were a mine, then I would have to have it be mine, mine, which seems okay to me. Nothing seems to be too implied here. This would have to be mine. This is one. Uh, yeah, this is this is all fine. Yep, nothing to see here. This would be a non-mine, I guess. This would be a mine. How about how about um? Like I, I'm not gonna do the whole damn map uh, via trial and error. There's got to be a cleaner way to think about it. What about thinking about this too, huh? We have mine, non-mine. Would have to have mine here. And then non mine, non mine. Um and this would be part of the one. So it would be one one, which I'm starting to hate. Yeah, I'm really starting to hate. I mean it's always one one is what it would seem. One one, the bane of my existence. Yeah, the bane of my existence. Ugh. Because I could... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. That would force a mine here due to the two. And that would actually invalidate this. Which... Okay. Via trial and error, I suppose. That means this is... Whoops. That means this is a mine. This is not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take it. It's... It's um, it's one of those things that doesn't feel amazing. But I guess it works. Yeah. I believe it works. And if it works, it works. You can't complain. Sometimes you just don't look a gift horse in the mouse mouth. You just take the gift. Mm, don't know the size of these groups yet. What else do I have? Well, two in a row. I can finish off that row. Okay, these groups got to be separate. It's one on the bottom, so that is complete. It's a size group of one. There we go. Question marks still don't know. Two in a row right here. Okay, so this is a size one. Mm. Meh. Next. So I got... Whoops. Um, the one in the column isn't necessarily complete yet. 
this actually the question mark cannot be three in a row right it can most be two so this is a non-mine so actually it's a size one hmm which means this could be part of the question marks but at least the uh, top is complete with the one in the row however the question marks again can at most be size one yeah, these question marks can at most be size 1, right? Because it's either here or here, and it can't be here because it's the second number. I guess we're just done. That's a 1. Oh, helpful. Okay, because we know that's a 1, I can complete this. Actually, other 1 is complete now. This has to be something. And actually, because it's 1-1, one, one, that's win. Love it. 17. Level 17. What's up with the double question marks? Um, it refers to a column in a row that have the same number of mines in a row. So actually, this is a good starter because I have a column of one and a row of like eight. Uh, it has to have the same number, so it's got to be one. It can't be zero. And I guess this is in this row is a one then a two. Oh, it looks like a house. Yeah, big house. Again, another game of just figuring out where to start. Um, well, okay, because of this, it can at most be five in a row. So I have to think about five in a row coming from here. Extends out to there. Anything past it is no good. Goodbye. I got five in a row. This must be one. I got part from the four. Now, uh, because the question mark, and it can only be one group, which extends this high. Uh, the two at the end of this can't fit here. Hmm. I mean, one of these is a mine, but doesn't tell me anything yet. And that's okay. It doesn't have to always speak to me. It may whisper. I mean, this is a one then two, which unfortunately doesn't help either. Let's see what else there could be. A two three, which is only size six out of a row of nine. That's nothing mm, at all. Or four. We already kind of got started on that. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to blow my nose again. I think the column of 2-2 two, two actually is what I haven't considered yet. Because 2-2 two, two going into here, it's a group of 5 and a column of 6, which means this is a mine and then this is a mine. Now, does that do anything for me? Actually, no. That is rude. Man, uh, yeah, that's mega rude. Well, thanks for nothing, asshole. Jazz. Oh, uh, here's... Um, well, here's something interesting with this one right here, right? One of these two is a mine that's probably going to relate to this one. There's no way it ever relates to the two. I think that's valid because um, the one at the top would make this a non-mine. The one of these two is the one. And then the two, three in a row of eight. Group of six in a row of eight that makes this a mine. That I can work with a five here. One, two, three, four, five. That means none of these are mines. And now we're cooking. Are we? Mm, the stove might be off. I think it was a good little chunk, though. It's, um, maybe it could work with the fours, actually. Think about four in a row. I have one four in the left of this chunk, which unfortunately I can't do anything with. But it does restrict the four in a row here. The two twos, three, two threes. That is surprising. Oh, uh, two in a row. There we go. Uh, big row. That actually helps complete this one. Complete this one. Uh, the two I can deal with which I won't X out because there's also a column. That's a nice one. You got to be able to get something from it. Hopefully. What else have I done? Well, I needed two somewhere in this column, but that's a big column, so that's never happening right now. Two, two and three doesn't mean anything. Could be anywhere. Two, then question mark. It could be anything. Question mark could be anything. Just need patience until I stumble on the thing. Oh, um. Can I do anything with this double question mark? I feel like it could be a size one, two, three, or four.
Yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. Yeah, it could be anything, I think. That's the danger, though. You might think it could be anything, but it could be only something. That's that's the real trickster. I feel like it has to be that, the more I think about it, just because of the lack of other clues I have anywhere. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Well, let's see. Let's, let's consider some options. Um... If it's four in a row, this would be a mine. And then all four of these would be a mine. Four in a row is nuts, let me tell you. Uh, that would also put mines here. Source, trust me. Mm, can I do anything else with that? I think this is a non-mine. Mm, not really, actually. Yeah, the fact that I can't do anything that is a pretty bad sign. This two, let me think about this two maybe down here. Like, if, what if these two are the mines? All right, then I'd have no mines, of course, obviously. But that would mean that would complete this whole column. Surely that won't have any negative drawbacks, right? Well, I'd have a mine here. I'd have mines here, which is also fine. That would make this into a one, so I would go no mines all the way down. That is a lot of look. Uh, this is still one of two. The three and three actually looks impossible now. Yeah, I have two mines, but I can't get a second group of three. So, all that means is one of these three is a mine, or two. One of the bottom cluster is down here somewhere. Can I spot the top cluster? Nah, because I mean, this can be a mine. That's perfectly valid. Or a non-mine. Perfectly valid. And then the, the top three could be here. It could be here. Technically even be here. I think if I even wanted to, it could be here. No, that's not right. But, you know, a, a lot of other options, yeah. I think I got something in my eyeball. Eh, a little eyelash fell in my line. Yeah, there's a lot of close calls. Like this three. Uh, the two three is also another really close call where, again, the only thing you actually can verify is the fact that this is a mine. There's possibility for every single other cell to be a mine and a non-mine, which is unfortunate. But true. I guess I haven't looked at ones at all. Meh. Now, the middle is not a two, but it's a question mark than two. And this question mark refers to a one. So this row here is a one, two. And I, I can't even X out the two because it also refers to a column. Um, same with this, right? Yeah, we have a, a lead for both the row and the column. But there's not much there. Oh, this too. What about this? I mean, I haven't really finished this, but there isn't really much to finish. I feel maybe I feel like let me circle this. I feel like this column could be an interesting idea because we know that it's not here and here, as I determined earlier. So that means like one of these must house the two, but it's two into four, which is um, unfortunate. I'd have to read a bit more into it. Ones are annoying because they have very little fun logic with them. 
Yeah, ones are most fun if it's like a, a one, 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 but then it's, you know, it's still simple. It's just kind of funny. Of course, um, well, with this two, there could be two mines here. Would there? No, I guess there actually can't be, right? Because I can't have non-mine, 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 and non-mine. But one of these being a mine would mean that... Actually, exactly one mine might give me something. If exactly one of these three are mine, um, that would mean that the group of three can't be here, for example, because that's two mines. Obviously can't be here, that's three mines. Obviously can't be here, that's three mines. So the bottommost group of three would be here. Right? Uh, so that means we got no, no, no. And yes. So then three in a row. Mark that. Okay, one group. That's at least four in a row. And it can't be longer than five. I can mark those off. This two means this is no. This is at least the two once. This is a mine. Now, we gotta be smart. All right, four in a row means these three are mines. Four in a row here. Mark that off. I got my two. And then it looks like that's a one. But it could be a different number in the row. So don't let that deceive you. The numbers do be tricky. I can mark these three as not mines. I've got a two done here and a two here. So this is finally complete. Took long enough. Uh, the one I can actually mark off. Well done. Three is done. Uh, that can be any size still. Do one of these two as a mine. There's actually, well, okay. One group in this column. I think that's kind of helpful. This is always a two. Not like that matters too much. Uh, this can't be a mine. It would have to be here. Get that done. Uh, now we're moving. All right. Uh, top three puts that there. This question mark. It's either a two or a three. So this is a mine. This is not a mine. A one. Um, huh. Okay, let me... I, I, I see what I could do with that. But how about I'll f focus on three instead. The top two is in here. This one is already complete. Top two is complete. And then bottom two is actually... I don't have to think about that right now. Three in a row is complete. Got the two halfway done. I've got two in a row. That's pretty good. This is pretty good. This is oh, the group of one. Puts that there. Finally done. Five in a row. Can at least narrow it down a little bit. Just a touch. Three in a row I can deal with. One I can mark. Still need one in the column. Man, it feels good to be moving. Might as well start Xing off. Well, I've Xed off everything I could. <coughs> All right. Oh, was, oh shoot! This is part of a column. Okay. Well, that's the catch. There we go. Three is done now. Okay, the question mark can be done now. This is a one. You're done. This is a four, and then four marks that there. Three goes here. Two. Would be down here. Done and done. Three in a row. Marked here. Get that row done. Two. Well, the question mark must extend to the two. Looking like that. Two in a row is half done. Three in a row is done. Two is done. Mark that. Two. Well, it could be anything right now. Four in a row is done. Uh, it's only one, so it's going to look like this. Thanks to the question mark. The two is done. This column should be done. These two are done. It's wonderful. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, question mark. Must have at least one. Mark off that one. Well, I can't. I still have a row with it. Yeah, the, the ones that hit two at the same time, I keep prematurely marking off. That seems to be a mistake I'm making pretty frequently. Oh, that felt good. That was nice. The house. Toughest level yet. <laughs> now... I was gonna say it's an upside down house, but I guess it's closer to a heart, but it doesn't really have that dip in the middle. So it's just kinda, I don't know what this is. Chat, what do you think this is? Three and a four. Yeah, what do you think this is? This is eight out of a group of 10. A diamond? It's not pointy at the top though. Diamonds are pointy at the top. They're maybe a gem. Yeah, like a, oh, like an actual, <laughs> uh, not, not, 
not the cards diamond the diamonds kyle jeffries with the 50 love the videos i'm watching on, on and off since battles one shout out to all my battles one homies uh been regularly since he did frostpunk even plays against you in battles once but don't think he made it into a video much love much love to you thank you okay yeah like the gem diamond what does that say about me when i think about diamonds i think about a deck of cards rather than the shiny stone i'm a, a card freak i love to play the cards what can i say or yeah i guess people are thinking minecraft diamonds ah uh, yeah 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 i don't play minecraft anymore so that's that's definitely out of my brain space. So this 2, 2, 2, 6 plus 2 is 8 out of a row of a lot. I'm not going to think about that. Out of 11, 8 out of 11, that's nothing. Oh, I got... Mm, oh, this is interesting, actually. These two clues together, they feed right into a row of 4. So at most, either one of them is worth 2. So this column is at worth most 2. I can mark those off. Three. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, one of these has to be a mine. Why? Why must at least one of these be a mine? Maybe two, maybe three. But at least one. So the reason is, the alternative would be like one mine here, two mines here, and both of these would be twos, which would screw over this row. That's just too much. So... Because one of these is mine, you gotta think about this guy. This is at most three, thanks to the row here. So the bottom most, if this were a mine, I would go one, two, three, and this is never a mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, why are these at most twos? Uh, because of the row of four, right? It could either be a one, two, or a two, one, which is um, pretty limiting. It's a really interesting rule set. Like the game is kind of crushing it. So, realistically, there's probably... Yeah, because it's probably a 1-2. Yeah, or it could be a 1-1, one, one, which is even worse. That one's the rudest. Um, but <laughs> it's very likely, not gonna lie. I hope it's not rude. Um, here's something. Is it possible for all of these to be mines? Because that's the only way this question mark can extend all the way to over here, which would be nuts. If all three of these are mines, I have no, 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 um, and then no, right? Because it would be a one, two, so it would look like this, and then no. Well, that, that's a contradiction. I would have a mine here and a mine here, which screws over this guy, so that's, that's not possible. That's the only way for this question mark to suck over the mine trend here, so these two are non-mines. Now, for the same reason, this is actually not a mine because of this question mark. Cool. It is... Mm, what else can I do with this three? I feel like this three... We're not done with it yet. I have a lot of work to be done. But what are other ways I could think about it? Um... Nah, maybe I shouldn't be thinking about it. I don't know, I, I thought I was onto something kind of interesting there, but... I think it's also time to... Maybe... Mm, I, I think I have to think about it because I've already considered most stuff around the map. I don't want to think about, like, these columns and the implication. That sounds way too intense. I do not have a completed column of one, in case you were referring to this. Uh, again, the... The numbers only see until there's a break. Same with this. Uh, that's probably actually what you were referring to. They only see until there's a break. Hmm. So, again, there must be at least a mine here. What if it was mine, mine, mine? Hypothetically. Why would it do that? I mean, in what case would that... I mean, okay. I don't think this actually does anything for me. Like, even if I follow up this logic, it's not like I can use it in any effective way. So I don't even know if I'm going to properly think about it.
Huh. Maybe something with this question mark, possibly. Is there any way I can, like, get one of the three sections of this row to be the one? Mmm. That seems like a tall order. I mean, it, it does have some three implications, but not heavy ones. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan. Damn, wait, this is a tough puzzle. All right, how about this? I'll, 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 I'll hard laser focus on this three. And think about maybe, let's, let's try this guy. It's at least a one. What if it were, like, exactly a one? Actually, yeah, I, maybe I should try to disprove it being exactly one somehow. Well, that would mean it would have to be, like, here. And then, no, 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 no. And is there anything wrong with that? Uh, yes, actually, because of this column. We'd have two minds around the three at most. That's kind of interesting. Is that the case, then, for any position of one? I think so. I think any of this being one is equally invalid, unless if the one is here, no, because we would still have mi no, 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 and then we can't have three minds here, because this would be a two, two, which is not okay for reasons discussed earlier. So because this is at least a two, this is a mine, <laughs> which doesn't help me uh, yet, but I think it being a two could be nice. It could be a three. Yeah, it's still gonna be a three. I need a Okay, maybe I need to disprove it being a three next. I think that's the only way. If it's three in a row, I mean, I could have three in a row like this, right? I'm pretty sure this is valid. Uh, then this would be a non-mine. Then I would have a one by one. What's wrong with this? Maybe, maybe it has to be a three. Maybe I should check for two now. Let's see. Um, two in a row. Oh, there's so many ways it could be a two in a row. We'll try here first and then no, 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 no. Um, so yes, yes. Then no, no, yes. And then... So that is fine. This is still... F oh, it's not fine. But that's just one instance of two. What about, like, two in a row like this? Mmm, well... It's going to be ba, 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 ba. Ah, uh, that looks pretty valid. Let's see, is there anything wrong with that two in a row? Yep, it's the fact that this is still a zero. Yep, that's still wrong because of these. Okay, so actually, I think it has to be three in a row then. Neat. That means with three in a row. Okay, does it have to be exactly these three? What if I have three in a row that looks like, I don't know, like this? Actually, no, let me do an extreme. What if this were the three in a row? Exactly this. I mean, we should be able to rule this out pretty easily, I think. So, what would that do for me? Hold on. I know there's something bad about this. Oh, yeah. I think the bad thing is that because I have two minds here and this is still a circle, that's no good. So that means this is a non mine. This is a mine. Okay. Let's consider other options for the three in a row that aren't all three touching the three. What if it's like this? These three, huh? Well, then I'll have mine, mine, nope, new. No. And then this is a mine, it's a no. So I would have a one, two, which would perfectly be valid. Yeah, this is fine. Well, so we have a range of okay with threes. Oh, this guy. Wow, there are so many things in this going on. So that's not okay. Wait, so this is not a mine. 
Okay, so that means this has to be a 1-1. One, one. Seven. That's the biggest I've seen in this game. Uh, because it's a 1-1 one, one, then, that means this column is just done. And I'm not ready to say where the last one is, but it's probably the one that I considered. Well, one other option, right? If this were a mine, this weren't. One of these two is a mine. This is not. Nope, and nope. Yep, and then ba 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 Checks out. How about this? Seven boy? Oh, oh, you know, actually, know which of the three sections the question mark goes to. Okay, this is this is the one. Here we go. It's bound to open up now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty spicy. Where do I want to go from here? Maybe these ones? Maybe? Uh, I can block off three, I guess. We're in a row to here. This long row of question mark is probably going to come in handy eventually. Not right now. Hmm. I'm actually not sure where I'd go with this. Uh, the seven, this has to be a mine. Right, otherwise it can't be a breakup. Can't be a split. Uh, and also the cover was both question marks. Well, but it can extend indefinitely in both directions. So, not nothing yet. I just need to remember that. Oh, yeah, this is done. And then one of these are mines. We got a question mark I could extend, and this has to extend for that question mark. It could keep going. The four in question mark. This actually here is part of the question mark. Yeah. Yeah, it can't be part of the four. These two have to be part of the four, though. Actually, yeah, if these two have to be part of the four, that would make no minds. Oh, a zero. Okay, now, now we're going. I right, got a two, and that would be the first two. And actually, that gets the whole top row. Looking good. How about this three? Looking good. Comma three. Oh, it's opening. It's wide open. Ready for the taking. I marked this too early, but not by much. Only by a little bit. Um, these fours and twos both represent ones. Oh, wow. This question mark goes eternally. Can I drag? No, I cannot drag, unfortunately. The three is provided to me. Four is provided. It's good. Looking good. Okay, one is done. Two can mark that. Get out of here, column. Get out of there. That. That's done. The four. Mm, could refer to anything right now. Let's just kind of check as much off as possible. One is done in this row. Three. Uh, this has to be a mine. One of these two is mine. This is not a mine. Three is done. Get that. What else? Column. One of these two is mine. These two are not. Hmm. One of these two is mine, these two are not. Three can be done. Two is good. Mark both of these, and then, okay, goodbye. One can be done. And it all falls down. Question mark at the bottom has its limits. One is done. Question mark at the bottom is this here, so these are done. Three and four, got them. Question mark is got. Three can be done, finally. Took long enough. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mark this off, that off. Two is good. Trip is done. Oh. <laughs> you can enable dragging? Really? Well, whatever. It's probably not a big deal. It's never going to get that big. It's a skull. A skull. Okay, so this here, well, it's either a 1-1 one, one or a 1-2, and unfortunately, I can't do anything more until I figure out which it is. 
A 2-2. Two, two. I can mark these two at least. A 1-1 one, one lets me do this. The 5. Okay, the 5 has to be big, right? So there's four more mines. Only one of these two is a mine. So I have one mine, two mines. It cannot be three, four, five. There's no way. It's not possible. But I think it actually has to be um, one mine, two mine, three mines, four, five. Pretty sure it's how it has to go. So we got mine, mine, mine. Nope. And then this could still be a one or a two. Perfectly valid. That's a one, two. Oh, got a two here. That's part of the one. Mark that off. One I can get. Now you're done. Two is here. Um, I think it's possible to have mine, mine, mine. That's fine. Of course, a lot of other options are possible. Is it possible to do mine, mine? I don't think so. No, that makes zero, zero there. But it is possible to go mine, mine, which is fine. So it's never mine, mine, though. Yeah, it's never that. So this is never a two, which means it's a one. That two is complete. If two forces a mine here. And actually, the other mine has to be here, so it's not here. This is done. This is done. Two. One of these two is a mine, um, which feeds into this two. I'll come back to that, actually, in a second. Just want to make sure I've got everything else. Yeah, one of these two. Okay, so we know that one of these two is a mine, and we got a two here, which means that this one is not the mine. This is the mine. And then two continues. We got a three into five, which can mark there. One. I don't exit off because there's a row, damn it. Same number of group. I really hope this is a mine, but this is almost never a mine. It's very unlikely. Okay, I got columns of three. Can't fit two into three. That is illegal. Minesweeper logic. Hmm. I gotta figure out which cluster refers to this. It's at most size three because it's one group. Which group? Two of these. Um, what I do know is I could have two mines here, but I cannot have two mines here because that refers to the one. I'm and I can't have XX either because of this being only one group. So what that means is these two are the mines. Or these two are the mines. Or these two are the mines. The point is. Every single one of those has a mine either here or here, and not a mine here, thanks to the one in the row. So, you're not a mine. What else? Uh, I can think about the three threes, right? Um, two groups of three into four. Which doesn't actually let me do much. It's just there. Hanging out. Being a dude. Oh, the three here, uh, which also doesn't actually let me... Well, no, it gives me the two complete. That's nice. That probably actually does a lot. Because now I can be done with the three. Oh, the group in a row. It's either a group of one or a group of three. Don't know yet. I will know soon. I do know at most one of these is a mine. Hmm... I think it's got to be... So oh, well... Mm, yeah, it's got to be something with this too. Or it could be something with this double question mark. Let me think of the possibility of it being a threeber. Would it ever? Because I could do this, that, that. I mean, everything seems fine. I could even do three in a row here if I wished. I don't see the issue with that.
Here I got a, oh, here I got my one. Uh, two in a row. And, well, it's a good way to stall anyway. It doesn't let me cascade, but it's done. It always feels bad when you, you tie up a little loose end and it doesn't actually lead to another. It's just kind of sitting there. Am I allowed to have three in this column extend all the way down here? Is this legal? I don't see why not. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's basically all I really care about. That doesn't mean anything yet. That doesn't, mmm. Oh, oh, because this is at most three, I can get rid of those. Uh, this being a three is kind of spicy. This has to be a mine. And that's the one. And actually, that's the row. Goodbye. But thanks to the question mark, anyway. Okay, this has got to count for something. It's got to. Um... Ooh, okay. I think I could work with this two and this three, actually. Yeah, the cell unique to the three is a mine, and then the cells unique to the two are non-mines. Um, two in a row, I can do. Two, and a question mark. Oh, because one of these is a mine, it's never a length of three for the group. Yeah, it would have to look like this. Mark it. Mark it. It's a length of two, which means it's not here, which means that... Well, it could either be two in a row or diagonal, but that means this here is always a mine. And actually, it's got to be two, so that's taken care of. Top is still potentially under wraps, but I haven't thought about it too much, so I don't know yet. I think I was looking elsewhere, though, like somewhere a bit more down, just because I feel like there's possibility. Like one of these four being a mine. Oh, I got a two column and a two row, so that's probably that's going to count for something. There we go. Oh, the three at the bottom does have some legs down here. Yeah, it would seem so. Okay, this can't be a mine. It would overload the two. The, the question mark can only be so big. They don't call me Tyler for nothing. It's true. My name literally translates to maker of tiles. So, I mean, solver of tiles is close enough. It's the, the modern day translation of the name Tyler. I'm just simply living my <laughs> namesake and duties. Hmm, come on though. I've got, there's something in here. The one three column isn't done. There's actually a lot of spots where the one could go. It could go here. Uh, it could go here. I think actually even here is valid. Yeah, here's valid. Um, here's valid. Yeah, all those are perfectly fine spots. I do have a three threes. I can mark that. Oh, this, okay, this four changes a little bit. Uh, this has to be mine. Now one of these two is a mine for the one. So now that's actually pretty narrowed down for the one. Okay, it's, now it's here. That's the one. Perfect. That's complete. And this is this gets a ton of them. Love to see it. Get the two row. Get the first two done. Oh, this five has been done for a bit. Or no, no, I just got it done. Never mind. Just got it done. All right, we're very close now. Home stretch. This four, one of these two is a mine, a two. Um, see, I feel like the one row is the main denominator. I'm just trying not to think about it in hopes that it's easier that way. Because if you look at the one row, it's just a long logic train. Uh, let's think about it this way, right? Like, what if 
what if this were the mine? Then we'd have no, 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 no. And I, there'd be a lot that'd be forced up. So here would be forced, here'd be forced, here'd be forced. Which I guess is, oh, then here would be forced. Yeah, so it's almost like this three, this two, and this one work together, right? This is never a mine. Oh, one, actually. Maybe that was, that was the key. I complete the four and everything else falls, right? Like dominoes. Dominoes, topple them. This two is complete. Topple the dominoes. Three is nice. Interesting cropping. The X. Oh, question mark refers to a one, I suppose. Question mark two, there's another one. But it could refer to anything in the future. Uh, these twos at least have one. I got a little start here. Um, I think my next uh, plan of action is this three combined with these question marks. Now, for starters, at most the line can be length of three due to the break, which translates on top to a line of at most three. So, you are not a mine. Hmm. And now this one has entered the party. Hold on. I need water. Ah. I could have st stream up on Twitch with multi-stream. Yeah, but uh, I don't want to figure that out. And honestly, who needs Twitch anyway? Although, I mean, it's something I thought about doing. It's just I don't really want to do it right now. Or figure it out. Okay, uh, back to puzzle solving. Let's see. So, I think I'm thinking about this one, this three, and these right now so what's interesting about it is let's think about where the one would go and the consequences of it if the one goes here that means all of these are non-mines and then this is a one and that's not okay because like with the three then i would have one of the mines be here and then i would be forced to go mine and mine which invalidates this so, for starters, you're not a mine. Next, um, for some reason, it's actually got to be a length two. So, either these two or these two. Now, that would mean that two of the mines would have to go next to the three and no more. So, the ones in this column not touching the three are not mines. So, a bit more spice here. Uh, because it's two and it has to be in a row, this is a mine. This two is now complete. It's going to be either top or bottom. Uh, next, because this is guaranteed to be a two, either this or this is a mine, which means this is not a mine thanks to the one. Um, interesting. And then it also means these two are non-mines, but um, it's also because, like, the group of two at most. What about this one? What can I do with you? Well, it doesn't mean these two are not mines. It would, in fact, mean these two are mines. That's, that's it. This two would then mean these two are not mines. Oh, well, or it could be a group of one. It could be a group of one. Hold that thought. Either way, you're complete. One of these two is a mine, which actually... I know this is not a mine, so this is. Okay, I know that's a group of two now. Actually, because it's a group of two, these two cannot be mines. It must be these two and not these two because the two. Uh, one is complete. Three forces of mine here. Two, um, one, and two. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. This still needs a row. Careful. It's not it. This is it. Three in a row. Get that. Perfect. Two mines right here. Bam. And what else do I got? Surely something. Oh, uh, two down here. Perfect. Mark that. Four. Um, so three out of four of these are mines. 
This must be a... No, no, this must be a mine. One, mark that. There we go. Uh, the two and four almost works like a two-one pattern. This is mine. These three are not. Get that out of the way. One is complete. Mark it. This is forced down here. Get that a mine. Perfect. This is the last one here to go. Four already has four. One has the row. Uh, this two is complete. Mark that. One, two, three. There we go. And bam. Where am I missing? Up here. That's a question mark. Well, oh, it has to be mines. Nice. And we're zoomed out. Almost looks like a leaf, I guess? I either way, it's huge. Definitely the biggest puzzle yet. How dare you? <laughs> Big puzzles are terrifying because it takes so long to even start. Although, I got a little bit of start, actually. That's not too bad. Nope, needs the row still. A flower, maybe? Yeah, it could be. Actually, at least there's a lot of easy logic here. A four. Uh, these three are all mines. Ooh, okay, same number. This can at most be a two, so all of these are non-mines. Very satisfying. Two column. This is at most a one. <laughs> that is to say, it is exactly one. Okay, the two one column forces us to be a mine. And okay, the two does refer there. The two here. Well, this one, this is one, so this is a second. The two must be down here. Can't mark off the two, unfortunately. One of these is a mine for the one, which doesn't help me yet. Oh, I got a lot. I've definitely glossed over some clues when looking at new clues. That's the thing, right? As soon as a new clue comes up, you're like, ooh, clue, shiny. And you just kind of forget what led you to that moment. It's never complete. Ever. That's not a mine. Three of these. It could be three. Uh, this has to be a mine, I believe. Yeah, it does. Three in a row. Mark it. One is complete. Two is complete. Okay. Two at the top here forces this to be a mine. An upside down, side down baby elephant. You know, I can almost see it actually, where these are the eyes, and then it's got like a bit of a nose. The trunk is almost like going in the Z axis. The ears are a little missing though. I don't know, I get elephant vibes. I think you're not crazy, which might be the first time you've ever heard that. Let's see what else I can do. Yeah, it's a, it's a big roar star shark test, but that's what makes it interesting. You see what you want to see. God, there's so many things to look at. <laughs> Guys, I can't zoom in. I mean, it's not like I would want to. Yeah, not like I would want to zoom in. Oh, this one actually, hold on, uh, can work with this three, right? Because one of the two are mines, must be next to the three. But this one, or question mark is a one. Crusher with the five. Love you for all the amazing puzzle games you've shown me. It took me eight hours to beat this one in his prequel. Nice. Glad you got some good value out of it. Yeah, that's a fun one. You know I'm a sucker for these kind of games. I'll never get sick of them. Maybe not never, but not anytime soon. Hmm. So many clues. I mean, this being a one doesn't really help me.
Uh, this could be any number. Two in a row. Jeez. Is the one two? No, that's not helpful. Four. Hmm. Actually, here's a question. How, all right, how will I ever determine which of these two is a mine? It will probably either be from this cell or it'll be from this cell, giving it another clue. Because right now there's not enough clues. However, the fact that there are two cells from which you can get the clues means that I can't do anything. But if there were only one cell from I could which I could get a clue, it would then have to be a non-mine, so it could not so it could give the clue. But uh, unfortunately, it's exciting logic that I can't quite use yet. That would be pretty neat though. Oh, uh, two one row facing right. That's got to count for something. This here is a mine. That does the one. Jeez, it is so hard to pick these out. But finally got something. Finally. Well. Okay. Hold on. Because it's part of the two, one of these is a mine, and then one of these is a mine, which means that both of these are mines, which then completes this one. The two can come down here. That's looking good. And then this is actually going to be part of the two, so I can mark that. And actually, what else could I do? Well, one of these two is a mine, thanks to the ones. This is not. Uh, and since this is the two, it would go like this. What they do, mark that, clear these out, don't need that anymore. Then you are mine. This is done. 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 What else can I do? Well, it looks like the two's done in both worlds. This question mark, I believe, is done. Slowly narrowing down the things to look at. Oh, this question mark is at most a two. So these two are not mines. Zero. Nice. I can dig it. Three, one, four. Um, actually, I think the three and four work together. If I've mined mine, I would at least have a mine here. And actually, I think that always completes the one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is always a mine source, trust me. Oh, and actually the question mark can be filled out. That is really helpful because it at least lets me do a lot with a four. One mine. Hmm. The three is a... Whoops. This is a mine. This is not. One is complete. Looking good. Mark it. Nice. That's huge. Okay, the two is complete. This is a two. Get out of my sight. Get that two column. A one. Well, no, I'll think about the four right now. Got to be something more down here, which would be here. Oh, that is a two in a row. That's part of the one market. One group is decided. Two. One of these two is a mine, which actually doesn't help me too much. Hmm. Oh, uh, two in a row, in a row, has only a couple options. Be pretty picky with that. A two-one pattern, which I guess does function well here. I guess the four column done. This one is complete. Mark the two, and bam, bam. This two is done. That feels good. This is one in a row, so you mark all these. One is already done, and hey, there's that clue. Didn't get to do this ultra fun logic, but it was fine logic regardless. Oh, question mark means these connect. This two is done, and so is this question mark. This is done. Uh, the two column is done. Question mark must connect. Three, at least one of these is mine. 
And actually, since this one group on the question mark has to look like this. This two needs a second one. Two is done. That one is finally complete. This two is finally complete. Uh, this is a two one. Whoop, this is not a done one yet. This is a d done one. D -d 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 done one. All right, we're very close now. What else? Um. Oh, two in a row. I can do something with that. Mark it. This three is complete. What else? Well, I need a one for the question mark. One is complete. Hmm. One of these two is a mine, which means these two are not. And then there's two. One of these two is a mine to match the column. Yeah, row must match the column. So one of these two is a mine. That means this is not. One is done. Two has two mines. Done. One of these two. Just one group. Mark it. This could be a mine. So I think it's inferred from clues elsewhere. Two. Interesting. Well, if one of these two is a mine, that would be the second one by the two. And then I have three in a row. Mark that. There's the one. Zero. Okay. And what am I missing? This here. This is a two. Yes. Oh, I really thought I was going to slip up and make a mistake by the end of that. It's the mirrors. I have moved. <laughs> hey guys, I'm in the window. Let's see what I got. Um, question mark four, two in a row. A two with a break two, it can go here. The eyes, the binoculars perhaps. All right, this refers to at most the two. That's one group so I can get a ton of the bottom. Double Tyler, actually that's a great idea. Um, ah, there we go. Perfect. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, it is two of me, but what if I add a little? Hmm? Hold on. How would I... Can I flip this? Actually, maybe it's super easy. No. Um, let's try this. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Tyler's staring each other down. Who are you looking at, you chump? I'm solving this puzzle. <laughs> they call me the eyeball. It's been my nickname for longer than you would expect. All right, let's see what I got. Um, well, with a lot of options. Four, four, that's nine into a group of 14, so that's no. What else? Four, one, that's six into a group of nine, which means I can mark this. Three, three, one, no, that's, that's way too big. I'm not even gonna think about it. Oh, I got a two column as well. Of course. <laughs> what else do I have? Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Left looks smaller? Yeah, well, some eyeballs are asymmetrical. Not everyone has perfectly symmetrical eyes, you bigots. Um. Hmm. Well, this too... There's something here. It could still be part of the question mark is the issue. Yeah, the question mark could just keep going. That's, that's a bit of a shame. What else is there? Well... I feel like these two columns... This is kind of interesting, right? One of these has to be a mine. And then there has to be a mine here. So that means like all this space up here is a non-mine. I can go whoop-de-doo. 
the pillars. And actually, I think exactly one of these is mine. Exactly one of these is mine, which means this is mine. Um, and that would also mean that the question marks refer to a one. So this is the break between the question mark and the four. And because it's a four, it has to look like this. One, two, three, four. Um, I could probably do a lot with that. Just let me consider options. Oh, the two is complete. Four. Um, these two both have to be mine because only one of these are mine. That's a question mark. A question mark can mean anything. Twos. What about the two columns? Well, I, I could get that at least. Uh, then you're done. Three is done. Mark that. There we go. This is a mine. And there we go. All right, so... <coughs> Easy part done. Now the hard part. Figuring out where to go from here. Hmm. Uh, two at the bottom means that this has to be a non-mine. Mark that. Question mark, again, could mean anything. Only one of these is a mine. So it's never this one. Just do the question mark. Oh, maybe I can do some of the fours now. Now that we're here. So far, that's all I can do. One of these is mine, which doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, what about the 331? Three, three, yeah, that's gotta count for something. I think it actually forces three and three to be all the way on the left. Very nice. Oh, four in a row column. This one's actually easier than I expected. Four in a row here. Two in a row's done. Mark that. Mm, this could be anything. Same with the one. One could be anything. Hmm. One of these is a mine. Well, I can think about this too. One of these is a mine. One of these is a mine. So that would mean no and no. A one here. Well, it wouldn't be this one ever. And now it can't be these two. These two are mines. Mark it. Sweet. And actually, I still can't legally X these out, annoyingly. Uh, the rows are too much, but I mean, it's almost done. We've got to be on the home stretch. Where can this one go? Hmm. Let's see. Oh shit, the double sip. <laughs> I got so hydrated right now. Which Tyler is actually solving the puzzle? You ever think about that? Is it, is it me? Or is it you? Hmm. Okay. They should kiss. Well, I don't want to get the other Tyler sick. That'd be pretty rude. I'm going to keep my germs to myself right now. Maybe I could put on a mask before making out with myself. Prevent the spread. Do your part. Um... Hmm. I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten anything yet, but I think I'm just <laughs> hold up on the whole Tyler thing. I think I gotta think about this three and this one. Those seem to be the main culprits right now. Like, for example... Like... This can't be a mine. Let's think about the implications. There would be no mine, no mine, and then yes mine. Look at this. That ain't right. So you know that this ain't a mine. Really cool. 
Well done. Uh, maybe I can think about something with a two. What if, um... What if then, um... Well, it's for the same reason this can't be the mine. That's not okay. Which doesn't help me. What about, what about this one? It'd be mine. No mine. This would be forced then. Which is fine. Yeah, I don't see any issues with that. Yeah, that's say okay Well, okay, so... What about then... This being a mine, this not being a mine. Maybe I can think about actually instead the row of one. What if, um, what if like this were the mine? It'd be nope. Well, then I would have mine, mine, which is fine. This being a mine isn't a big deal either. Because again, mine, mine is fine. <gasps> Wait, no. Oh, no. This being a non mine. Means I have to go like this. So this has to be the mine. Ooh, caught it. So. It's a pretty big deal. Okay, this two and this one can work together. There's at least one mine here. Because of that. Which means that this is not a mine. This is a mine. Mark that. Uh, but it also means this is not a... I'm dumb. No, yeah, that was such a bad assumption. It's not a normal 2-1. Because there could be two mines here. I got way too greedy. Damn it, my first mistake of the stream. And it was very preventable. Very preventable mistake. You hate to see it. Well, thanks for the free info. Yeah, I thought about it just a touch too quickly. If I'd slowed down and just walked through it, it would have been pretty standard. I'm not going to redo the puzzle for the sake of it, but it's uh, pretty gross, pretty ugly, ugly even. A stain on my poor eyeballs. What does it look like here? Nah, I'll, 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 I'll take care of that off stream. Okay, I think it was... It was, um... Your fault. You are the one who did this. I need to go back to the way things were. It was him that did it. Oh my... What? Why even do this? I'm gonna go off on a limb right now and say this is, um, bad. <laughs> what the hell? How dare you? This is, this is like a, a job at this point. I like the smaller elegant puzzles. I thought that interesting logic. This scares me because it's probably just a ton of brute force and a bunch of just counting stuff. This is a row of 14 out of 8. So I would get the middle two. Yeah, this is mean. This is, this is really rude. Why would you do this? How dare you? Because I mean, yeah, there is, there is a ton of logic. And it's all like pretty simple so far. Yeah, we might need three Tylers of this, especially if I have multiple, um, cursors. I feel like this wouldn't be a big deal if there wasn't a penalty for misclicking, which hasn't happened yet, but, you know, now I'm, like, extra nervous about it. No, there is brute force because it's just, you're doing the basic logic that you already know a thousand trillion times. Like it's, uh, you have to get through it through brute willpower. <laughs> you know, it, it, it was something this big. It all just kind of comes down to DSC the clue. Like the reward for this is, uh, Yeah, no, unless if, like, there's some really interesting logic that validates the puzzle being this big, I don't know why the puzzle should be this big. Um, like, if the puzzle can be expressed smaller, it probably should be expressed smaller. I don't know, but maybe some people... No. Well, I guess what it kind of comes down to is a lot of people enjoy the hunting and pecking for clues, which makes me want to choke. But, you know, 
I guess some people do enjoy the fucking Where's Waldo version of it. It's like, all right, where's the clue that I can work with? It's in here somewhere. Penguin? Penguin? Penguin. Pangling? There are so many damn clues. Pangling. Oh, this is five into eight. But we get the middle two. Penguin. There is so much. <laughs> there is so much. Oh my god. I, I kind of want to skip this. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I got a three. Get that. I mean, I might as well do a little bit, you know? I'm not going to give up while there's obviously still a ton of clues. Right? Hopefully. At what point is this stop being obvious? Because, I mean, there, there are so many numbers. All right, 5, 2, that's a group of 8, and a column of 12. I mean, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's not helpful. Kind of feels like it should be a multiplayer map. True. Like, no joke. I, I would love that as a multiplayer minesweeper. Um, just trust that your partner isn't a complete idiot. But, you know, I, I would have trust with whoever I'm playing with. Trust that I can count. Yeah, the question is sometimes, do I trust myself enough? Do that. Oh, I'm just imagining that. I mean, on a map like this, yeah, it'd be fun. On a smaller map where you want the cool logic, then obviously it's definitely best to do solo. I'm gonna give myself like five-ish minutes. And if I don't, you know, and if, I, if I'm sick of it by then, I'll move on. There's just so unbelievably much to check. Tip from someone who played multiplayer Minesweeper, don't. I mean, you can never trust the random internet. Okay, maybe this five has something. Yeah, it does. And maybe it's a great way to lose a friendship, but... <laughs> uh, beat us with the 10? Island of Insight is in demo. Will I play it again? I played enough of the first demo where it's like, if there's not anything new in the second demo, which I was told there isn't, I'm not going to bother. I think it's more of an aspect of I want to hype myself up for when the main game releases and almost build maximum hype in my head. And that probably means abstaining from it until I either have some reason to play it or something else, like you know, either like a sponsor deal or a new demo. But I am 100% going to play at some point. It's just, you know, I want to have the most fun possible. Anyway, this four, what can I do with it? Oh, well, one of these two must be mine, so therefore both of them are mine. So two is complete. Get that out of my sight. How about this? Two, mark that. Two off. Who's looking good here. Three, one of these two is a mine. Doesn't actually mean anything. Up oh, three in a row. I can do something with like that. Get out of here. Four, market. One, market. The free market. Hmm... What else? A four and a two, I think that puts that here. It can work with the six, we can work with the one. Three and a two, four and a two and a five. Oh, this two can work with this eight. Uh, obviously, it should be in a row. Mark that, mark that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. What else is there? Three? That means two out of four of these are mines, which... Um... And one of these two are a mine. So one of these two is a mine. Which means it's this one, and not. Oh shoot, this, wait, no. 
The one extends past the three. Okay. New puzzle. Oh, sh I have to finish it. Ah, well, fuck you. This is not uh, one of these two. Ugh. Alright, just pretend it's normal green. Actually, well, no, it doesn't really matter. As someone who's finished the main content of Lingo, if you continue, good luck. Oh, I will not be continuing. I am done with that game. <laughs> I, uh, honestly, I don't get what the people enjoyed about it, because there was just annoying stuff in between very mediocre stuff for me. Like, the, the average puzzle was either, like, filler, or the only reason it was hard was because it was tedious, not because it was actually hard. I can skip if I want. All right, you are amazing. Thank you. I'm done with this level. Whoa, what is this? A new rule? A chain symbol indicates that all adjacent mines must create an unbroken orthogonal chain. There must be at least one mine adjacent to a chain symbol. So is a chain like only in... Oh. Oh. They must break or make an unbroken chain. So like this, it would never go through the top because of this one. Interesting. Cool. Is there any game I wish I could forget and play for the first time again? Yeah, probably Outer Wilds. I mean, that's what everyone says about the game, but it's true. Uh, people say it for a reason. Um, okay, that means this can't be a mine, right? Because it would be a broken chain. And you want the unbroken chain, and that lets you solve the puzzle. Ooh, okay, new mechanics in the house. I'm here for it. That's a good-ass time. Okay, well, this one down here. Oh, hey, a chain. It was expecting me. Hmm, well, this is a mine, due to the question mark. So they must connect somehow. It's got to be through the left side, because this one column will be angry otherwise. Okay, well, the two is complete. First two. Yeah, okay, I got another two here. I'm loving new mechanics. What do I do now? I have a four. I can get a little bit of that. Mark these. A one in a question mark has to be a one in one. I got three in a row. Mark that all the way down here. Perfect. What are chains? The chain means that the uh, cells next to the cell, or the mines next to the cell must connect like in a circle. I guess it mentions orthogonal, but you just got to think like as it goes around, it's got to be a straight connection. No gaps. Like, for example, this can't be a mine because there's gaps via the corners. That's cool. Uh, this question mark is done for both. What else can I do? A two. Mark that. I'm surprised nobody has said, uh, bless you, after I say a two. Usually that happens by now. Uh, no matter. Uh, a two here. Oh, another chain. Hmm, well the one here means that one of these two must be a mine, so I've got to connect it via chain. Oh shoot, I missed that this was a possibility. Ah, I got lucky. I always saw these two. Well, lucky me. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. I, okay. Let me restart this level. Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> I want my thing back. I literally just didn't see the cell there, and I'm mad. Give it back to me. Of course, I don't actually remember how I fully solved this. Uh, I'm trying to refigure this out now. Uh huh. I think it was this. Yep, yeah, perfect. What else did I have? What else did I have? I had the fours. Four can only go this far. One break one. Yep, okay, that seems right. Three in a row. Bring it all the way down. Perfect. We're almost back to where I was. Practically back. Yeah, okay. Here we are. So, <laughs> what have I learned? See the cell. See it. Visualize it. Conceptualize it. Breathe it. So, 
This cannot be a mine, because that would break the chain. That's what I can learn. One of these two are mine, and then the corner next to it is the other mine. Now, it can't be both, obviously. The question mark... Well, hmm. There's a question mark here as well. Yeah, which way does it go? Oh, well, there's a one here, so it can't go up. It actually has to go down. That's the catch. Okay. Love it. And mark that. Perfect. Get that. Perfect. Oh, uh, one of these two is a mine, and it's got to be that. I'm dumb. Oh, my God. I forgot there was a one here. I thought it was done because I thought it was just a question mark. You know what? Fuck you. Uh, two mistakes. I don't give a damn. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I think I was just too eager to be done with the level, so I raced through it. Uh, that's an issue. If I'm doing that, that means it's t close to time for a break. Here's what I'll do. I'll play until the top of the hour, then I'll call it, just because I'm starting to get a little antsy with these levels. And an antsy Tyler is a bad puzzle solver. So let's not let that happen. Ooh, okay. There must be something in this column, and the chain says it must continue. Oh, a zero. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, okay. Another chain. Okay, well, bring it down there for the two. Four in a row. Mark that up here. Mm, two here. Chain's done. Four is done. Three is done. This one seems manageable so far, but I know it's... Um, the, the other shoe's going to drop at some point, I'm sure. This can't ever be a mine, I guess, because it can at most be two in a row. How am I supposed to determine... Oh, if this is a mine, it would probably be determined from here. So this is never a mine. <laughs> this is a mine because it has to give me the clue here. That's, that's pretty much it. It's like meta logic. This two. Two of these three are mines, and then one of these four are mines. I mean, this is mine. These two are not mines. One must be a mine here. Three. All these are mines. Mark it. That two. That's two. Is that two and three? Perfect. Mark the four. Almost misclicked. It was scary close, actually. Well, this can at most be four in a row, but I don't know the exact number in a row just yet. Well, this four. Okay. Uh, one of these two are mine, thanks to the one. So that means all three of these are mines. And actually, this has to be a big group. So it's a group of four. Let that come down. Four in a row here. Mark that. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And we're good. Oh, perfect. Nice. Okay. I'm starting to slow down. <laughs> uh... I hope no one would be mad if I ended it here. And just because I feel like I'm losing my edge a little bit. I feel like I'm going to just keep making dumb mistakes. I want to end on a high note before I make more dumb mistakes. This game is fun, though. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, I could stream it again whenever I don't have a video to upload. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, this is just a chill game. Uh, I enjoy playing it. So, thank you all for coming out. Hope you... Um, are looking forward to tomorrow's video and the day after and the day after and the day after. There will be actual videos and not live streams. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a wonderful